Then we came to visit in our temporary days. I love yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we had to have a temporary home while they built our fancy dancy new studio over there. Yeah, yeah no, huh? it's all nice and good. It's yes. kicking a gut and yeah. fish. Yeah, what I have right here, show the front of that thing. It's called the fishing, the fishing soap, deep fishing soap. And you can go online and find it. Matter of fact, email me here at uh, TV's yeah. in exact detail. Let me tell you what this stuff can do. When I get to, when I tell no, we have to tell you that Jimmy's not profiting off of this at all. He just, when he I finds would. something fun, he, he likes to share with you Absolutely. guys. Absolutely. Listen, uh, you're going to put gas in oil. I don't care if you diesel. It doesn't really matter. You wash your hands with this stuff, and you spell it. It's got yeah. an anise oil in it. And it also has the, the uh, all the tea, tree tea tree oil, which cures any cuts you may get in the fishing day. It takes all the fishing scent completely off of you. Oil and gas, I don't care where it is, the lawnmower, it doesn't really matter. If you eat boiled or crawfish or whatever the case is, you wash your hands, this thing is done. It, it's absolutely clean. It, it, it works instantly. Um, Skip Floyd gave, gave, gave me a ball. Okay, well, uh, of course, I hand the ball to give me a bigger ball. Uh -huh. But I got people in the all the time. I wash and wash my boat when I get to fishing. My hands are kind of dirty. Black. One time, it's absolutely uh -huh. clean. The scent is gone. If you fish and you want to get the scent off, you add this right Because, you know, when you finish fishing after you've taken you the fish out, you eat. Yeah, it's going to smell. Yeah, it's you do. Smell. And, you know, it's funny because anytime Jim, Jimmy walks in with a bag of something or whatever, he'll say, hey, smell this. And I always fall for it. Yeah. And so he walked in and said, smell this. And I said, no, Jimmy, I'm not going to. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, but it smells kind of like licorice at first. Yeah. And then when he said tea tree oil, we, I use that a lot because you can put tea tree oil yes, on like cuts and yes. so forth. And, and it kind of does. If you've ever smelled tea tree oil, it kind of smells like that. Yeah. It smells very pleasant. So if you get hooked, cut a hook, or cut your stuff with a bed, whatever it is, when you use this stuff again, they wash up, it starts peeling it from it right away. It's, it's amazing. amazing. Come on, line, really? go on TV3, uh, email me, and I'll give you all the information about it. It is unreal. I'm, yeah. I'm bragging. I'm bragging on it. Yes, I mean, I like it. It's tough on me. When you and you know, when you find new stuff, you're not going to give that one to me? No. No, I got one. No. I like it. But anyway, it's a, it's a neat little something, something to keep in your boat when, you, when Jimmy finds cool stuff. Yes. That you need to keep in your boat or keep with you when you go fishing. Absolutely. This is one of them. The fishing soap. Yeah. And, or and, and, and fishing or the fishing. Either way. Dave Baker's got our forecast for the weekend. Let's see what it's like to be. Okay, we'll check it out.